last month I missed posting November's monthly rewind, so I'm gonna combine it with December. So we'll have a November and December combined monthly rewind. So without further ado, I have my notebook and I've taken some notes. Let's just start. November went by so fast that it seems like we didn't have um, much fun throughout the month. Like we didn't get a chance to get out and do things with the family. Um, we did make an effort one weekend to go visit a local park just so we could explore our area. We found a cute little park and a little neighborhood and it had like a pond and it had ducks and geese and a little play area. Alec had a great time going down the slides. And, and chasing after the ducks. So I'll put some footage of that here. He's so cute. One duck. One duck. As soon as Halloween was over, we started decorating for the holiday season. We put up a couple of fun things throughout the house for the kids. And then also Bella got a brand new uh, Christmas tree for her room. It's white with lights and we did a lot of um, super girly pastel -y decorations that are inspired by the Nutcracker. And she had a lot of fun um, putting that together and it turned out really nice. So we're gonna decorate my Christmas tree which you see in the background. And we're gonna use some um, heart ornaments, diamond ornaments, some sparkly feathers, some animal ballerinas, some of these ballerinas, and that, a, some of those ballerinas. And then this one, which for some reason has a hole in its butt. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna use this ballerina snow globe. And then we're gonna use these ballerina animals, these nutcrackers for the nutcracker, and then these crowns for my royalty. For your royalty? Well, let's get started. All the decorations and the tree came from Target. It was really inexpensive, and I think it'll last us for years to come. For Thanksgiving, we went to Disneyland. It was a great time. I think everyone else in the world had the idea to go to Disneyland. It was super busy. I've never seen the park so crowded before. And you know, Disneyland is the original, so it's smaller, the walkways are a little bit more narrow, um, and there were just tons of people. So we couldn't do a lot of things, but we did, you know, find some things to do. We did get to ride a couple rides. And we had Thanksgiving dinner there at Cafe Orleans, which is very yummy. But I'll put some footage uh, of our trip here. It's a tradition in our family to celebrate the holidays doing something a little extraordinary like visiting Disneyland or going to a different type of theme park or maybe visiting like a foreign city. So Paul and I joined the Navy as teenagers and they sent us off to Japan on a ship. So when you're a teenager growing into adulthood, like you you start sort of like your own tradition and when you're overseas you just do the next best thing that reminds you of home and we would always do something a little spectacular like Tokyo Disney or we would go to Tokyo um, 
and explore the city or Shibuya or Yokohama or we would go on little trips here and there. So um, we just continued the tradition every year and this year we're celebrating at Disneyland. So happy Thanksgiving! Overall, the day was a great success and we were very thankful for all of us to be together to celebrate the holiday. The day after Thanksgiving, we went down to San Diego to see a play, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I believe it's been in operation for 15 or 16 years, the same production company doing the same play. It's very popular here in San Diego. It's down in Babylon Park at the Old Globe Theater. At the end of November, Paul flew to Newport, Rhode Island to attend the Senior Enlisted Academy at the Naval War College. He was there for three weeks, getting smart. And Bella was selected as Student of the Month in her class. Here are a couple happy snaps to round out the month of November. Paul was in Newport for the most of December, so the kids and I held down the fort. We took care of business decorating the house for the holidays. So let's start uh, December's rewind with some cuteness from Alec. One scoop. Excuse me. Excuse me, Leroy. I'm done. All done? You did a good job. Thank you. Let's put the top back on. Put the scooper in. Good job, Alec. Good job. Yeah, you have water. Alec, Alec, you did a great job. We continued our decorating for the holidays and Bella did a great job making a gingerbread house. Although, I think she ate more candy than she used on the house itself. Finally, 
for the moment we've all been waiting for, the Nutcracker production. <laughs> Bella has been rehearsing for the Nutcracker since August and it's finally here. The Nutcracker ran from December 17th through the 23rd at Old Town Temecula Community Theater. There was a total of nine shows. In Act One, Bella played a party boy, so she was on stage most of the time. Well, for all of Act One, she was on stage. And then in Act Two, she played a mini Russian doll, so she was in about maybe 50% of Act Two. Here's some um, fast forwarded footage of the dress rehearsal and some backstage footage of Bella getting ready and then some photos of her friends um, that were in the production with her. We make it to Christmas Eve. Quite an exciting night for most kids. We made Rice Krispie treats in preparation for Santa's visit. We played games as a family. And as we moved into the night, Bella wrote a note to Santa and she left it out with milk and cookies. Here's some footage of Christmas morning. Alec was so pumped for Christmas, he could not sit still. He just kept running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Thanks to Aunt Edith and Uncle Bob for the monkey. Do you see Alec running around with the monkey? He loves that thing. That was the best present. <laughs> he didn't care about any other presents, only that monkey. <laughs> so along with the footage of Christmas morning, I've 
included some pictures. So thanks to everyone who has sent us um, Christmas presents. We so appreciate it. It made the kids Christmas morning that much more special. You can't forget that I was born on Christmas. It's my birthday. I know there's a lot going on on December 25th. Everyone is preoccupied with this holiday of Christmas. And I always usually get forgotten about when it comes to birthday. But um, Paul and the kids did a little special something for me. And I wasn't expecting it. So it was really nice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Renee. 36. Can you tell? You look marvelous, my dear. You can put it in the middle of this. Milfin. You can put it in the middle of this and in the middle of that. Okay, well, let's eat it. Is this the Trader Joe's cake? I like these candles. We should see them. Oh, look them. I'm going to end the month of December with some happy snaps. But before I let you go, I want to know how your November and December went. Tell me in the comments below. Check back in with us next month. We have a trip planned to Salt Lake City, Utah for some snowboarding. And uh, we want to share that with you. Until then, take care. We love and we miss you all. Bye.